G'day everybody, it's me again. It's been a while, been real busy. This is partially some of the reason I've been real busy. I've um, been using a lot of my uh, electronics time to uh, build this. It's a uh, multi-copter guys, um, 10 inch props. It was originally an RC Explorer tricopter, which meant it only had one boom straight out in the back here with uh, one engine in the back and a gimbalable uh, thrust vectored motor on the back just uh, to uh, give it a yaw but I got sick of that, got a bit bored with it so uh, also damaged the uh, rear boom so added another boom like an extra motor tilt them at the 45 degree odd angle and it's not quite 45, I think it's about 15 or 30 but anyway and uh, now it's a quad but it's what you call a V-tail quad because as you can see it's got a V in the tail also you've got your front booms at 120 degrees your rear booms are much less, I think it's only about 30 and uh, you get your uh, yaw by increasing the speed on one of the rear motors um, has some interesting features this bird um, it is an RC unit as you can see but some uh, of the onboard features I will tell you is about that's a GPS module there that talks to this uh, Arduino Mega, it's basically an Arduino Mega on a board um, that board has a barometer, a, gyros a gyroscope, an accelerometer and a compass built in um, this, this one also I've put a Bluetooth module on so I can tune it by uh, plugging it into my phone and uh, yeah, it's very very interesting these speed controllers here are a 25 amp, 3 phase, uh, 12 volt odd because it's turning off a 3S cell and uh, they're very interesting pieces because uh, they're microcontroller controlled as well. Um, Orange RX receiver. And uh, yeah, I've also got on board tel telemetry for my battery. So it tells me the state of uh, charge in each of my cells, whether they're balanced or not. It does need a balance by the looks. And uh, how much voltage is overall left in the battery. Um, it's going to be a little difficult for me to. Uh, hold the camera and fly at the same time. I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm going to have to go find my tripod. But I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an overview and a bit of a, a look-see. And uh, I can't really fly it one-handed. I really have to go get the tripod. Um, I'll probably do a flight in another video. But yeah, just, just to go through some of the features. We'll plug it in. Alright. So that activates everything, the flight board, all the ESCs, the uh, receiver unit, and uh, yeah, blinking lights. Eventually it will blink a sequence and tell you that everything's okay and that it's got a GPS lock, a few other bits and pieces, but there's an easier way to do that. Um, you've got a mobile phone running Android, got my S4 here. Um, we will go into our apps drawer. Doing this one handed again sucks. Try to see the screen. Multi Wii. Started. MW Connect. Oh, it's connected GPS. now. GPS. Tells us that it has a GPS fix. Got 10 satellites. Tells us the exact position in GPS. Very nice. It's getting big more hands. I need to find my bloody tripod. Um, Altitude zero uh, meters. Waypoints map. Map. Kind of shows us where we are. There's a few other features that are a bit hard for me to show once again, but I will do a proper flight with this. Um, you can tune all of the uh, settings here. There are your different settings for the PIDs, which control how it flies. I'm still learning all of this, of course. It's very interesting. That's the one I wanted to change is the throttle exponential. I'll fix that later. But uh, yeah, just a quick little video here. It's a DX7 remote, or transmitter as you'd call them. Um, these motors are good for about 250 watts each if I'm correct. Uh, that's about right for the amount of voltage I've got in the pack because it's a 3S pack so it's about 12 volts. And, uh, yeah, I can't really freaking fly. Maybe I can do a little bit on the ground. I'll fire it up at least so you can see. Alright, 
I do actually have control on my transmitter of GPS mode, uh, automatic return to home. So, sort of if I get a bit lost out there, I can just flip a switch and it will fly home. There's also a GPS lock mode, which I can show you how it works. What I'll do is, is I'll take off, I'll get it up to uh, height a little bit, and then I'll just whack it into GPS hold. And then I can more or less just put the stick down and it will fly for high itself. So, yep, may as well do that. Increase throttle. Make sure everything's kind of happy. Yep. Alright, so she's flying in GPS hold now, which means she pretty much holds herself in position. I'll just wait till it settles down a bit. That's uh, fully hands off the stick, guys. It's flying itself. It's very windy. You can probably hear it. And I do believe the computer can fly it in the wind better than I can, which is not surprising. Anyway, now I've got to try and bring it in. I'll put yous back down. There we go. Any landing that the machine can fly away from again is a good one. And there we are. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I will do further videos on this. Um, I've got some footage that I'd like to upload of it doing GPS return to homes, but have to sort it out. Have to get a decent video going with the tripod, not just muck it around all the time. And I'll leave it at that for the moment, fellas, and thanks for watching.